Little Scrappers, this is Valerie of Winx Art Graphics, and this is my very first clumsy attempt at re recording a designer tip tutorial for the My Memories blog. Today I'm going to talk about using ready-made layered templates with My Memory Suite software. Beautiful templates are available but may look really complicated to use. I'll show you some um, tips so you'll see that layered templates aren't as complicated as you might think. Okay, let's get started. Um, the template that I want to use has been installed in my uh, software, my My Memory software, and um, I've opened the software and I'm going to choose template. And I'm going to choose Blooming Templates. OK, I'm going to minimize this so you can see the whole, the whole page. Um, before we actually get started, there's um, a couple things that I want to make sure you know. Um, doesn't matter which layer I select, but right now, but um, I selected the uh, frame around the photo. I can't. I'm not sure if you can see the top bar, the My Memory Suite bar that has File, Edit, Arrange, um, Insert, and other things up there. But if you go to Arrange, click, and underneath you'll see all those choices. Go to Order. And in order, you have bring to front, send to back, bring forward, and send backward. Bring to front will bring your selected layer all the way to the front. So it's in front of everything. Send to back will send your selected layer, which I just did, <laughs> all the way to the back um, so that it's back against the background and under all of the other things that are on your page. I'm going to do Command Z so that it undoes. And um, bring forward um, will bring your selected layer forward one layer level at a time. And send backward will send it backward one layer level at a time. Okay, so you got to know those. Um, Another thing is um, when you select an image on a layer, um, you will get this box around your image. So I selected the um, swirls. The swirls are in front of the tan stripe. If I wanted to um, select the tan stripe, if I tried to select it within an the area of this box, it wouldn't select the tan stripe, it would select the, um, the swirl. So if I want to select, select the tan stripe, I have to find a place to click where um, the uh, swirl box or any of the other element boxes are not going to cover. Um, okay, so I've selected that. Let's color the stripe. We'll get started here. And takes just a second. We'll do this one. I'm going to put yellow paper on that one. Okay. Um, now, let's see, before we get into all the flowers, I'm going to deselect that. Um, when you want to move probably this, the, the photo frame and the photo out of the way. So I'm going to select this. And the way I'm doing this is going to make it so that they all end up in the correct um, order of layers. So I, I selected the photo.
put a paper in that frame. We'll use brown. Okay, now we see that these little, this little flower here is um, in front of the frame. So um, we better work on those. Let's, rather than paper, let's just recolor that. It'll go a little faster. And that we will color with a lavender. Okay. Now, we're going to send, um, I'm going to do this in maybe the wrong order, just so I can show you at the end how to fix it. I'm going to click this. See, normally, I, if I'm working from front to back, I would want to click the uh, flower center. But I'm going to put the frame, the brown frame, um, all the way in the back. And there you have your photo area ready. Um, and then we will do the flower center. Send it back. Petals. Send those back. Okay, and then we have, we'll start working on this, which is next. Um, let's color those. Okay, I'm going to send those backward, or all the way back. Send to back. <laughs> um, color this. Send that to the back. Okay. Oh, something else I want to tell you. It doesn't have to do with layers, but it has to do with coloring. Um, I had a customer call me. She had um, she had purchased this package of this particular package of um, templates, and she said she was trying to color the white daisy, and it wouldn't accept any color. It would just um, color a few of the little pixels, little gray or pixels around the edge of the flower, um, but the flower wouldn't change. So um, I talked to admin and Carly let me know that um, for some reason the software um, will not uh, or can't recolor something that is pure white. So as a designer I learned not to put pure white um, uh, shapes or images in my templates unless I want them to stay that way or or there is an option you can fill it with paper to color it so um, let's do that do pink all right I'm going to send that to the back and we'll send the white one to the back. And we'll start. Um, you can just uh, figure that these have been colored. And we'll send them to the back. I don't want to color everything because it will take too long and it will get boring. And I don't want to do that to you. <laughs> okay. Send these leaves back. Oh, let's color one leaf. Okay. Send that to the back. Let's color this one too. I guess I could have used the recolor. Send that back. Send this back. Okay, see this little leaf under here? If I try to select that now, it will select the swirl. So, not going to do that. Um, let's color that too. I love green. <laughs> We'll send that back. So as these things are going, 
as, as we are sending these things back, every piece is being sent to the very back. So it, they're ending up being in the correct order, except for that one that I'm going to show you. Let's color this. So what you're doing is just working from front to back and making adjustments to each layer and then sending them to the very back. Okay, we're down to the stripes. We'll send those back. And there we have it. Okay, let's put a background in just for lots of fun. <laughs> All right, um, now remember this little flower right here was in front of the brown frame. So what we're going to do is, oh, see, when I select the center of the flower, it selects the frame around the this. So, okay, so that's not gonna work. Here's what we'll do. There's always an alternative way. We will select the brown frame, and instead of trying to move the little flower forward, we will move the frame, the brown frame, backward. And so I'm going to, uh, on my Mac, I'm going to click Command Shift and the down arrow. First click takes it behind the flower center layer. The next click takes it behind the petals. And there you have it. Uh, so I, I hope that this little tutorial has um, given you some tips that you can use, a little more knowledge about the program, um, the software, and um, that you'll try making a beautiful page with a, a layered template. I hope everyone is well. We are at the end here and I love my memories and I love my customers and <clears throat> I wish you all well and health and happiness and I'll say goodbye. Bye!